Hi, I'm Steve Carlson. I'm primarying Amy Klobuchar, and I'm coming down to FarmFest 2018. I've been invited to speak with soybean farmers and growers and pork producers, and we'll be there. The first candidate debate forum was yesterday, and I'll be down tomorrow. Thanks to Update, I was able to view the five fine candidates who appeared to vie for Al Franken's used seat in the Senate. The time for jokes is over. But the gloom and doom pushed on Minnesota farmers by the appointee Tina Smith and by the doomsayer Richard Painter are not justified and possibly dangerous if people believe them while they're trying to attract voters. Dayton's appointee Smith, although she knows corn ice cream and can speak the lingo, vastly overreaches when she predicts that the America First approach by the president including his support for agriculture specifically, is hurting the future of farming in this state. That is ridiculous. Minnesota is based on farming. Once the fur trade had ended and the trees were cleared for farms and the very foundation of our economy became farming. And we aren't going anywhere. Nor is Richard Painter correct when he suggests to you that if we don't remove the president right away, He's going to be another Herbert Hoover, bringing another Great Depression like the smoot Holly laws, he says, did in the 1930s. Just as the stock market is protected today, American farmers today are protected by many things. Conservation, as Representative Colin Peterson is pushing in the new Farm Bill, protects our land from harmful practices and fights erosion and loss of topsoil through crop rotation and strategically letting land lie fallow. And so we must uh, protect uh, in the same way against oil depletion, the tax incentives. We protect our farms in the same way. We strategically use nutrition programs, create buffer markets for crops and meet our people's needs for food when they face economic hardship as farmers so often do. Vastly improved science, including genetics, protection of crops from pests, and increasingly critical water infrastructure as we face droughts. All of these things emerge from agricultural schools like my own University of Minnesota. Where as a member of the government, I visited campuses all around the state, including Waseca. So no, Hoover is not coming back and we are not hurting the future of farming in the state. But I'm not trying to be a Pollyanna and promise a future of abundance just yet. We are going to have to apply ourselves as you do in your fields to get the bounty of the earth. And we need a whole economy. Well, most farmers have left their farms. And in the 1980s that happened, it was very difficult and destructive. But the connection of farmers with the whole economy has to be kept in view here. Many leave the farms for the cities and other businesses. That can happen. But right now, President Trump is behind you, and Minnesota and America are behind you. I tweeted before Trump acted that I did not see why the government in this America First strategy rolled out by President Trump could not be helped by using farm subsidies against retaliation. And so $12 billion, including money for new export market development, are coming out, and that will help. It's hardly just a Band-Aid, as Dayton's Tina Smith says. And as Sonny Perdue has said, and as I have tweeted, if you don't want it, don't apply for it. But you need to see the whole ball game here. First, exports are a great opportunity for American farmers, as they are for manufacturers and service companies. We're a leader in exports, but in our overall trade balance, we are being taken advantage of. We're the piggy bank and it is not helping our people like we need to. But the bulk of our farm product has to flow to our own people. And as the economy grows, demand is going to grow and farming is going to contribute more and more to our quality of life. But I encourage you to speak out directly to the president, but wisely, not in a partisan way. Because when you speak, the president listens. When you speak, our industries also speak out, the other ones. 
and will be recognized and will be heard and will be appreciated. Together, we will protect your commitments in these turbulent times. Together, we will build the American economy and gain respect and prominence in the world. And together, we will share in the fruits of our labor and continue to export and help feed the world. I look forward to seeing you in the Farm Fest 2018.